Have you ever sat at home and just pumped and pumped away on one of these and it just didn't relieve your breathing? Well, today we're gonna to talk about just that. We're going to discuss what is this, how it works, and how you're supposed to use it. If you stay tuned to the end, I'm going to tell you about a way to make it work a whole lot better. So let's jump into what is this. So this is a reliever. So you get ones that relieve the shortness of breath immediately, and then you have ones that are a preventer that then prevent the problem. These, the relievers, are ones you're gonna take when you need it. So when you feel short of breath, you take a pump. The preventer is something you're going to be taking every single day, whether you feel fine or you don't feel fine. That's too good clarification. How it works is that there is a medication inside the cylinder that is under pressure, and then when you push this little thing down there's a little like area in the top that then gives a certain dose so when you push down you have the right amount of gas come out so you may ask well how many can i take you can take as many as you need until your breathing problem goes away or it's not working and you start to feel side effects so side effects might be tremors you might have an increase in heart rate you might feel a bit unwell when you're getting those symptoms it's clearly not working and you need to find another solution if you want to find out more about whether you should be actually using one of these check out this video that i made where we will discuss whether you actually have asthma or whether just because of your shortness of breath or the wheezes you're feeling there's actually something else going on so let's jump on to how you meant to use this so you meant to take off the cap you meant to put it in your mouth and then you breathe in and while you're breathing in you pump let me demonstrate so you pump and you breathe out and that is how you would administer a pump or that's how you would give it to yourself then there is the trick of a spacer so what exactly is a spacer? Well, a spacer is a bottle or any sort of canister. You can buy them from a pharmacy. You can make one with a bottle like this. You then plug your inhaler into the bottle and then you pump two or three pumps into the bottle and then you inhale through the bottle. Trials have been performed on the effectiveness of this and this drastically improves the effectiveness of the pump because most of the time when we're pumping into our own mouth, it actually just gets stuck on our throat or in our mouth or on our tongue. It doesn't actually get into our airway. So if you are struggling with your asthma inhaler, I would greatly recommend you make yourself a spacer or you buy a spacer. They look something like this. That would probably make a very big difference. If you want to know more about asthma, how to um, better control, or maybe what the difference is between controlled or uncontrolled asthma, check out this video and we'll tell you more about it.